This video is going to go over the practice problems for writing an expression from a phrase. So the phrase is going to be given to you over here, the word phrase. And what we're going to do is use this table up above to talk about what operation the phrase is representing. And then what we're going to actually do is write out the algebraic expression. Sorry, that's my dog in the background. She gets a little excited sometimes when I talk about math. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so we have these groups here, add, subtract, multiply, divide. As you're looking at this word phrase, can you find more than up in this table up ahead? Find more than, what operation would that be? Well, more than is right here, so that's gonna be an addition operation. And my math phrase for um, five more than a number would be this kind of algebraic expression. Five more than a number, I'm gonna add five more than the number. Well, I don't know what the number is, so I'm gonna use a variable to express what that could be, so I'm gonna use the letter X. And I'm probably just gonna use X for all of these. The next one says here in the phrase half, half of a number. Now half is right up here in the division column, so I'm gonna write division. And if we're taking half of something, that means we're gonna be dividing by two. So I need to know what I'm gonna take and then divide by two. Or you could write it as an actual fraction, so x divided by two. Either of these would be perfect. For the next phrase, we have a number increased by, increased by. Increased, you'll see up here in the addition. So a number, I don't know what that number is, so I'm gonna use a variable x, and increased by means add five to it. In this next question, it says 10 less than, 10 less than a number. Now, notice up here in this column for subtract and it says less and then less than. There's a little asterisk here because if you're gonna take 10 less than something, you have to know what that something was first. So if I said, you have $10 less than me, you need to know how much money I have and then subtract 10 to know how much you have. Because if you have 10 less than me, right, then you're gonna be subtracting 10 from some unknown. So less than, is gonna be a subtract sign. And you're gonna take less than, you know, something I don't know what that is, so my variable x and 10 less than that. Now my next phrase is one minus three times a number. One minus three times a number. Three times a number, three times a number, so that's a triple, means I'm gonna have a three x somewhere. So I know I have a product or a multiply here and then minus is the subtract one minus one then the minus sign three times a number that's a tougher one i think okay there's a couple more on this page and then i have some more on the next page a number squared a number squared this is going to be a multiply and a number squared is a number times itself. You could also write that number multiplied by itself. Then for the next one, a number decreased by, a number decreased by would be a subtract, and that's up here in this column, decreased by, a number decreased by three. Stay tuned to the next video for these examples here.